Welcome to Organic Chemistry One, ladies and gentlemen. This is your introductory video. We had a question on the floor, where, where can we find the syllabus? And it was correctly pointed out that such a thing can be found at Moodle. So let's go find it. We got, uh, we got this. That's not gonna do it. Whiteboard. It's there. Okay, now we're here. There's Moodle. Oh, mass guidelines since we're here. Um, what's my policy? It's up to you. You're gonna see me wearing this, hopefully. Now I won't be here for 20 years, but hopefully for 20 more years. This stays on as long as my mother's still with us, okay? So that's just my policy, that's personal. You guys, you're on your own, you know the risk, right? And uh, we we don't have masks, but if you want need it, if you feel more comfortable with a mask, please I encourage bring a mask. So we got that. And what do we have here? We have 243. That's us. 241. That's us. Winter 23. And the wheels moving. Yeah, they are. Every teacher in their in their poodle is trying to do this right now. Okay. Uh, oh, that needs editing, doesn't it? While we're here, let's edit. Yeah, the same. And I don't, I don't use the announcements very often. That's why it's not edited. If I want to tell you something, it's going to be by email. Please check your email. How about at least the night before every class as a minimum? How about every day? Just to be a good student. Yeah, that's better. So fall 2023 syllabus is ready. Test dates are posted. And that's the only edit I had to do. Well, that's an easy edit. I like that. Okay. We'll find that syllabus now. Okay. So we got announcements. That's first. You don't need these other announcements. So let's get rid of them. Uh, yeah. Okay, maybe this is not a good idea to do a lot of editing right now. First day slowness system is like overload. I'm trying to do work here. I'll get rid of the other one later. So you're going to see a list of items that are that are Zoom videos. Maybe we shall see. They did get even error message there, didn't it? Interesting. Let's not be editing anymore, okay? I will make a list of things that need editing. Okay, so weekly schedules and preparation. Now you don't see half of that stuff uh, and I can't get it to be like a student until I can see how. No, I don't have the right screen for it. All right, just ignore the ones that are hidden from you because you don't see them. Here they go. Master schedule, test one, find your way to use these video links. Okay, here we go, master schedule, test one. How is this organized? Okay, these first videos are actual lecture videos from the last time I ever will do lecture. Figure I got the video, I'm not doing this anymore. It's to your benefit. We only solve problems during class. That's all we ever do, okay? This is the only time we won't be solving problems, right here, so Okay, so these are standard lecture videos here. It's got section numbers from the textbook here. It's got links to the video. Let's get the first video. And I got it hidden by stuff. You can see that it's hidden up there. I want that to disappear, thank you. And where did it go? Here? This one? Yeah. I don't know what that means. That's, hey, that's me without a mask. There you go. That's me learning how to use Zoom. Hello. <laughs> it's an uh, early video. I apologize to anybody I cut off there. I hope you get back. Okay. Welcome I haven't seen this one in a long time. Chemistry one. Uh, oh, sorry. That's goofy looking at yourself on a video. I just. You've gone through that, right? Okay, so we got that. Uh, 
What else? Oh, down here, you see it on the bottom left? Every, well, most videos now have this. This is a new thing. There's a link to the lecture item, the, doc, the document that was created while making this. So if you see a link down here, accompanying lecture document is always the title. You might want to have that in front of you while you're watching the video. It's just, it's a good thing. You can print it or have it on another screen or, or something. And I think it's going to be right there. So there it is. Hey, it looks kind of familiar, right? And then a little lecture going on there that I won't be doing. But everything here is stuff you're supposed to know. Okay. Yeah, that's quite an interesting. A lot of that stuff you're always saying, oh my, what is that? Right? You're saying, I, I have no idea what that is. And this lecture one? Yeah, we have to get you past that. Okay. So there you go. Standard lecture videos. Watch the following supplemental videos. Now, supplemental videos were made um, usually during class. Like, we're going to be making more supplemental videos this semester. Okay? So these early ones were like early COVID supplemental videos. They're just as valuable as the lecture, I think. And then we get into this. I wouldn't worry about week three and four. No, you get on these videos now. Hey, try to get through all of these like by this weekend. <laughs> you know? The more you can get ahead, the better off you're going to be, okay? At least looking at what's coming up. You don't know it, but seeing it and seeing what you don't know is almost as important as seeing what you do know. Try to have that as a mindset when you're learning. Oh, and that other thing I said I was gonna talk about later, I forgot what it was, but the general idea was, I got another math that says math on, along the side, M-A-T-H. Mistakes allow thinking to happen. I love that math, okay? Because that's, that's life. Mistakes are opportunities to learn. Most people take mistakes as opportunities to quit. Don't be that person, okay? All right. So, more supplements. Guys, just because they're later doesn't mean they're less important. And I see... There's a lot of video too, okay? All right, we're gonna have video 1000 this semester. 1000, I'm gonna make a special one for that and I'm gonna reflect upon my years at Henry Ford College here. It's gonna be an interesting video. I've been thinking about it all break. It's coming up in about like two weeks. Uh, okay, so where are we at? We're going over the syllabus. And that was here. We haven't hit the syllabus yet. So we got our schedule, and I would only look at test one for now. Don't look ahead at two, three, and four. Test four lecture and review materials. Okay, fine. Syllabus, a lot of stuff hidden because it's old syllabi. Here we go. That's you. Winner 23, that's you. I missed it. Maybe I missed it again. No, it's wheeling around. Okay, here we are. And what we have here Monday, let's, let's find the mistakes because there's going to be some. 11, 10 to 1, that's good. G2, that's here. Um, virtual meetings using Zoom for office hours. Please just request it. We'll, we'll, we'll make it happen that day. Uh, I'm also here before and after class. So just come a little early or be willing to stay a little late. I can address your questions then too. Okay, and that's me, Dr. Whitaker. Emails the best way by far. I, 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 I haven't looked at this phone in a long time, okay? Email, that's the one. Uh, we are a fairly standard organic chemistry course. That means it transfers almost anywhere you need to go. We haven't found an exception to that yet, okay? It's transferred to a lot of, a lot of schools. And there's a book. Where is this book? Understanding Organic Chemistry One. Oh wait, that's your teacher. Yeah, this book was written for you, by me. Did a sabbatical in 2012, one semester. School paid my regular salary and I wrote a book. And I got to do it down in Georgia with my son and daughter. It was great. It was a lot of work. It was very worthwhile. And we'll find the book. 
uh, when we go back here or here, probably here, they're jumping around a lot today. The book, the book, the book. It was right under the syllabus. You remember that? There is the syllabus. But for the book, I should add a comment. Before you try to access the ebook, you should be logged into Cengage Unlimited, which means you've bought Cengage Unlimited already. So note to self, if you don't have Cengage Unlimited, you need it because the book's there and the owl is there, okay? If you buy just the owl, there's a good chance you don't have access to the book. That's not a good idea. The book's a valuable resource. So make sure you're logged into Cengage Unlimited first. Engage, uh, login, that's the login, right? Yeah. There we go. Oh, yeah. You got to remember which one I'm using nowadays. Oh, with that one. There we go. So I'm logged into Cengage. I'm going back to my syllabus. Okay, uh, syllabus says there's a link, hot link right here below the syllabus. Click on it and the book will open, magic. Watch it not open. <laughs> that has happened by the way. Yeah, had it working the other day. There you go, cover. I had a student put this picture together. Yeah. That's uh, this molecule. Anybody know this molecule here? It's retinol. Where might, where might you find retinol? There's a hint on the page where you might find retinol right now. In your retina, In your retina which is where? Yeah. In the back of your eye. Yeah, there you go. So this is, to me, this is a little poetic here. So you look at the retinal. The retinal is what's letting her look at the retinal. You see what I'm saying? Oh. There you go. And title page, we got that there. Table of contents. So it's got everything. Fairly, fairly traditional, but definitely designed for you. This this book is only for problems to get you ready for problems. For example, that's its only purpose. Okay. All right, so we got that. We know how to get the book. We Classroom attendance helps your grade on test. I am not going to look at that document. I'm going to tell you this document. Every day in class, you're gonna do classroom activity. I run around and I hand you a little piece of paper, sometimes, most times. And you copy something. It's pretty much copying off the screen, ladies and gentlemen. What students don't know, the students think they know a lot. And they do. They know about themselves and how they learn the best. This is, this is very important. In fact, if you don't know that, I'm hoping you find your way a little towards that maybe during this course. Okay? But what they don't know is that you've heard of rote memorization. It's generally a bad thing because you're just memorizing for the sake of memory. But the process of going through that to learn, and in this course in particular, the process of writing out organic structures by hand. One, you're gonna get better at writing out organic structures by hand if you practice. That one's pretty obvious, right? So that's the rote skill. And I make you practice, I just force you to. These are the easiest points you can get. You copy what's on the screen, you hand them in, you get your points. These points are not mandatory at all. You can avoid attendance entirely in this class. If you, and if you're an exceptional student, you can do very well. But it's only exceptional students that can do that. I've had a handful of them since 98, okay? So most students need to be here. You really do, this, especially the subject. It's, it's a very big subject that continually grows. That's why they love it as a prereq for your field. You will not be using organic chemistry in your field for the most part. It's a foundation for all of your fields. It is. 
but you will not be using it in per se in your field. If you go into research, you'll definitely be using it, okay? And you realize research is for the people in your field that are at the top of your field, right? So I have to let you know what's out there for organic chemistry, how it relates to your field. And it's very important. And this classroom attendance stuff, you're gonna do these activities, you're gonna get your points. How do these points count? That's what you wanna know. It's very important. Well, if you're not here at all, it's easy. You just, your test scores are what you get on your test score. If you are here and your attendance score, that's handing these assignments in every day, right? Just doing that. And that score is higher than your test percent. Here's what happens. That score counts for 15% of your test score. And the test counts for 85% of the test score. And almost always that in, boost students grade okay so that is up to you to decide are these activities really doing it for me because i know you don't know yet maybe that your time is incredibly valuable it really is and if you have found a way to be here and learn the material to the extent that i want you to on your own i have no objections to you doing that whatsoever in fact good for you you're a highly motivated student and you're a self-starter and you're able to understand this material on your own, you actually might want to consider organic chemistry as a field, <laughs> okay? So I'm just saying that. But the activities are there to help students that are you know, diligent and doing their work and they're here every day. So let's be those students, okay? Uh, what else? Syllabus quiz. This is the uh, easiest quiz you're ever going to have. Well, not really. You got to do a little work. I'm going to get it started right now. Uh, here it is. There's the document that is the syllabus quiz. I'm highlighting everything. There's a faster way. I'm stopping and I'm hitting Control A and Control C. What's that do? I highlighted everything with Control A. And then control C, I copied it to memory and I'm gonna to go to a word. I'm gonna to go to word. And get a new document going. Oh, I should have done a better. I think the formatted paste, is that, that that's the one. I, I right clicked on my, uh, the paste. I just right click on the document. Oh, I lost paste options. That one seems to have the same layout. And I don't want anybody, your challenge on this is to do this whole quiz without typing a single thing. <laughs> in, in normal college, that is called plagiarism. Why is it not a plagiarism here to copy and paste every single answer from the syllabus? You just need to remember what's the purpose of this exercise. I want to know that you know the answers to these questions and you're telling me I know the answers to these questions. You can't come to me later in the semester and say I don't know the answers to these questions. That's it. It's worth no credit, but you gotta get it done within a week. Okay, just it's to get you started. And here we go. Uh, who's your teacher? I don't even wanna type it. Gotta be on this syllabus somewhere, right? Where do I have a syllabus? Ebook. I have too many documents open. And that gray box is always in my way. Syllabus, right there. That's, that's not the syllabus. Help me. Where's my syllabus? Did I click off of it somehow? Uh, is this one? That's a quiz, though. Here we are. We're back. So this doc, this is number tab two. Remember that. And uh, where's that teacher name? There it is. Yeah. Right click, copy, word. Right click, paste. Uh, got my answer right there. You want to bold it just so you, you want to show off? Yeah, I mean it's optional. You don't have to. There. My answers are in bold. Save this. Please answer the rest of the questions first. Save it. And uh, where do you upload it to? You upload it to? 
Well, we're going to be doing this all day, aren't we? <laughs> it's going to go until I back click on something. No. It's just here. You're going to upload it too? Here it comes. Three, two, one. Upload it to the area we were just at. Syllabus quiz. There you go. So you're going to be, uh, well, I'm not a student, but you're going to submit it here. Okay. Says it's set up, uh, opened on January 10. Oh, that's why there's no submission area. It's not open yet. I'll try to fix that today. Should be able to submit it today. That's not a big deal. Fill submission area. Okay. We got that. Second back. Going back. Trying to go back. Now there's also this document. Now, right here, let's do it this way. Number three. And last page of the syllabus has a statement of syllabus. Uh, you know what I'm going to do here? Because not a lot of students are are you know technologically like on top of everything and there was that syllabus we had right which was number we lose it already i axed out of it yeah this is the first one it's the first one because i exited out the first one and the second one became the first one and the second one was the syllabus i can't keep track but anyway the last it says something about the last page of the syllabus that's not quite it's it's the last it's there i need this part so what i'm going to do today i'm going to just get this part and i'm going to put it in that submission area so you have a, just this part and you can open it and find it okay but guys you don't need to wait for me to do that it's here right in the syllabus yeah there's this cool program called Snipping Tool. Some of you know about it. It's on every uh, non-Mac. Non I think Mac's got a version, I just don't know what it's called. And you can just grab any part of a document that you want, and I only need this. And the nice thing is you can do your signature right here. Isn't that cool? Okay. And student signature date and section number. I don't know. Today's uh, one nine. Look a lot better with a ten. Section number uh, section. I don't really need the section number. We only have one section. And then you save this. You know, save as and upload that to the area the submission area. Okay. All right. No problem. No, I don't want. Second one, now the third one. Now the third one. What do we got? So can you remind me when the syllabus quiz is due? Yeah, technically it's one week after the first day, but next Monday is special, isn't it? You're not here. Don't don't come Monday. Okay. <clears throat> Monday is Martin Luther King Day, so you want to be doing good things. Just good things for your fellow human. That's that's a good way to treat Martin Luther King Day. And uh, Wednesday, I'll see you again. But I'm gonna, don't forget, I'm going to see you this one. So how does this course break down? Tests are huge. Don't just look at this number, please. That's your four. Uh, you have four exams this semester. Your best three will count there. So each one's a big chunk of your grade. 16%. 48 total. But there is another test right there. Final exam. 32. Wow. Yes, sir. Are you final written by written by me. Every test item you ever have in this class written by me. And uh, cumulative, because this course is the stepping stone for Orgo 2. I'm pretty sure most of you are going to have to take Orgo 2 sometime. 
And if you can't pass that final, I'm just going to tell you, you're not ready for Argo 2. So you're going to see later in this, uh, in this uh, syllabus that you've got to pass that final or else not, no, you can't move on. All right. There's this journal. Please don't worry about the journal now because we, we're not even going to be able to talk about it until test two. Okay. It's for a reaction mechanisms and we don't even know what those are yet and we won't know until test two. OWL, you can get started on today. Okay. You log into your Cengage and you find the Chem 241 course in there. Okay. And you start the OWLs today because you wanted OWLs. Owls are good for one thing, and they're bad for one. I'll tell you the thing they're bad about. Students universally agree, owl is annoying. It's tedious. It's not as glitchy as it used to be. That used to be a bigger thing. They've definitely cut that way back. Most of the kinks are ironed out. And students say, I don't think this helps me at all. They always do, even the good students. But a, a teacher has a hard time looking at our correlation, our track record with student success uh, in this course and students' pro uh, progress in OWL. And when there's almost a one-to-one -one correlation, uh, I think OWL's doing something. Okay, it's hard to ignore that. Does it not necessarily cause an effect there? Okay, student, serious students are gonna be serious students and they'll do what they need to do. There's that factor, okay? But just doing the OWL gets you ready for the remedial level of understanding and you can't get to the next level of understanding unless you're past remedial that's what owls for it's the constant reminder about the, the the rules that sometimes they start being a nuisance but they are very consistent rules and we have to learn them okay owls good at that good at drill 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 so we have owl it's a big part of your grade journals a small part of your grade but it's really easy you're going to be happy the journals there because Basically, you get five out of five just for copying something out. Okay? How do you get your A? This looks like it's just get an average of you know, 90 to 100. You got to watch the, the, fall, the fine print, as they say. There's a star there, right? Yes, you have to get an average of at least 90. Yes, you also have to get a 90 on two of the tests this semester. Two. There are five tests this semester. If I am going to call you an A student, isn't it reasonable that you've performed at an A level at least 40% of the time? Isn't that a reasonable criteria? That's why it's here, okay? And then you've got to get at least an 80 on the final. You can do, you can have a not so good final, 80. If you're an A student, an 80 is not so good, I know. But if your average is there and you got that 80, you've got your A, okay? All right, there's some students who've had A pluses, they can read about this. Uh, our future students who are interested in A pluses can read about that. There's an amendment named after one of my former students back in 2006, my goodness. And how do you get a B? Well, basically you lower all those numbers. Your average needs to be an 80 now. You need to get an 80 on at least two of the tests. Remember, the final is a test. But if you're waiting for the final to get your second B, it's tension time. Yeah, <laughs> that's a lot of pressure you're putting on yourself. That's what I'm saying. And then you get no less than 70 on the final. 70 in this course is a middle C. We have a very wide C, 60 to 80, very wide. If you're in there, that means you're very competent with organic chemistry. There is no shame in a C grade, okay, in this class. If you're C in this class, you're ready to move on. You are, and you will be equipped to succeed in the next level, which is Orgo 2, or after that. You, you, you've got a good foundation. There is no shame in a C. I know you're saying, I'm never getting a C. I can't have a C on my transcript and all that stuff. I've, yeah, it's true. I know you have a feeling. I was there, I was a student. I felt that way too. It's not true. Shall I tell you the story about Michael Gajowski? He has given me permission to use his name. He got a C in this class. He got a C in the next class and he got a C in the lab. And at the time, that's all he needed in Orgo to move on to where he went to. 
and he ended up being the president of the first year, second year, third year, fourth year class of pharmacy at Wayne State University. And he had a C in all of his organic chemistry. He was not a star student, but he was gifted in many other ways. Good communicator, Michael. Very good language skills. Serves him very well to this day. That's why he's a good representative for the pharmacy class, right? And he's, yeah, he's got the big picture kind of mentality. So we need people like that with a decent understanding of organic chemistry. Okay? So, yeah, they know that. Out there, they know that. They know what C here means something. Because students like you, some of you move on with a C and you do okay. All right. A lot of talk. Sorry. Uh, incompletes are, are not something you should be thinking about. That's a, it's like, this is a tragedy happens situation. It's, it's not like, oh, maybe I should just ask them for an incomplete situation. No, no. There has to have been something happen in your life. That means, yes, before this thing happened, I could have probably got through this class and I was in good standing and I got like 70% of the material done and I was a, a C student or better. So you can't even have an incomplete conversation unless 70% of the material is done and you're at a C or better. And then something happens. Like maybe your mother has a stroke and you, you can't do school anymore. You got to take care of mom. Okay. That's very understandable. And we will work something out. Okay, and what happens then is we'll find time next semester for you to make up that material you missed. Okay, so hopefully not talking about a C for an, or an incomplete for anybody. C's are okay. A lot of teacher talk here. I'm going to leave it up to you. Here is the owl. Um, owl is the only opportunity for bonus in this class. Uh, I do realize that OWL can be cumbersome and sometimes glitchy. So I don't expect anybody to be able to do 100%. Of, 100 but every semester I get students to do 100%, and they get to keep all those points. And I think it ends up being OWL is 15% of your grade, I think. I can't remember, but it was earlier in the syllabus. I think you can get up to 16 out of 15. That's like a 1% course bonus. If you can get all the OWLs done. And the extra ones you keep, and they, they go towards your owl. And I always have ways for you to get caught up an owl after I get this question already. Are the owls for examination or? Yeah, uh, just they're, uh, owls are graded on you have to have the right answer, but you get 10 attempts. I mean, you can do owl without, without knowing anything uh, like a, a monkey hitting the keyboard. Right? Just make sure you don't hit the keyboard the same way twice. <laughs> no. It's not always like that. <laughs> that's, that's an oversimplification. But yes, the first time you should try in Earth based on your knowledge and then read their comments if there, uh, if there are any. Look for some supplemental material, textbook, lecture notes. Go back and try to, to get that all right. And even at the end, if you can't get it right, move on to the next one. If any particular owl problem is, just take, is grinding your time away, that's not good. Your time's too valuable for that. Move on. Skip it. So you only need 95 to get 100. And every test, here's what happens. I got due dates set for all the owls right now. Anybody seen those yet? Anybody got into owl yet? I know you. Semester hasn't started. Why? Okay. So yeah, they're there. You'll see them. But after test one, those chapter one, two, three due dates, they're going to change because they're passed. Test one, you took test one and all those. Chapter one, two, three due dates are passed. Well, on test one, while you're taking the test, I change them to like a week later. So catch up time is like the day of your test. You say, ah, oh, I missed those owls. And guys, I really don't want you doing owls like a week before the test either. No, it's time to study. Yes, a week is maybe enough time. No, I'm not trying to scare you, I'm trying to motivate you. Okay, yeah, big amount of material. You can't just look at this material and get it. You got to practice it. You got to do it. Do it by hand. Think about it. So you always have opportunities to get caught up on owl, like on test day. On test two, I take all the chapter test one stuff and test two stuff while you're taking test two and move that up a week. And I do this every test. 
while you're taking test four, all the Dow, uh, owl, owl due dates change to December 1 at 11.55 p.m. They will not ever be past that date, okay? And yes, I make the same speech every semester, but I haven't had my desired result yet, so I'm going to do it again. Because it happened last semester, even though I said these exact words. Don't even ask for an OWL extension after May 1. That would be unfair to every single student in this class, okay? Because you were told, and he's telling you every time he does an update, the last day is going to be December 1, okay? Please be the first semester where nobody asks. Doug, I just couldn't get to them, Doug. I need, I need one more day. It's always very plaintive. I mean, they're, they're legitimate. The, the student wants to do them. Guys, if you're out of that late in the semester, you're not, your time is not being used right. You should be studying for a final. Okay? December 1 is too close to your final. Oh, it's going on a little bit. Sorry. And it's right there in the syllabus. Okay. All right. So here is a mechanism journal. We're not going to talk about that. We're almost done with this. All journal stuff. Missed exams, though, we got to talk about. We don't have missed uh, uh, makeups in this class at all. No, no, they don't happen. We don't, please don't ask for a makeup either, okay? We are dropping your worst test anyway. So if you miss one, that's it, okay? Uh, please be a professional about it too. If you're gonna miss the test, I need to know before the test starts. I lay this room out with your name tag on a, on a bench and I, I wanna know, you know, I want people sitting where I want them sitting. That's all. Be professional. Tell me beforehand if you're gonna miss the test. That's the best way to do it right there. Email. Shouldn't do that on a video. There. That's the best way to do it. Okay. And very important schedule. There it is. These dates, please note them. And it says down here, the test dates are fixed, but the material may vary. So what's that mean? Well, test one, regardless, will be on Monday, February 6th. Uh, it may not be all of chapters one and two and three, but it will be on February 6th, okay? I'll let you read about attendance. Uh, this is for students who haven't showed up. That's not you. This is for students, all students. Friday, March 24th. So you've taken all the material up until Friday, March 24th, and things aren't going so well, and you have decided you want to drop. Don't just do that. Talk to at least an advisor. Talk to one of our advisors. Okay, because there's implications beyond what I know. Like financial aid is a thing and, and transferability and how your transcript's going to look with a drop on it. They don't like drops. The pharmacy school sees three drops on there. That's really going to hurt you. They'll take one. Yeah. What they would prefer, you know what they prefer? They say, oh, they took Orgo 1 and got a D, and then they retook it and got a B right away. Oh, we like this guy. Yeah, they figured it out. They really like that. Because they know most of those guys in admissions, I don't know, I couldn't get Orgo. <laughs> Why do you think I'm working in admissions? I shouldn't have said that. That's not, that was not nice. Those are good people in admissions. <laughs> Just organic chemistry is for very few people. I'm not slighting anybody. All right? So, oh. there we go. And yeah, so March 24, you can do that drop on your own. Now, here's where the college, it's independent of the instructor, the next part. If you're in our biology department, it's very clear. Uh, after that date, you ain't getting a drop. That's their policy. They want a nice, consistent 
biology-wide policy. That's good. Our department, our organic chemistry department, has decided that this is a really hard course that students sometimes don't get until near the end, and then it clicks. Oh, that, that's, that's some of my favorite students right there. They, 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 they stuck with it. They didn't give up, and they got it, and their grades started going up and up, and, up, and they, they got it at the end. That's the most important time to get it, right? So I will give you a drop as per your request up until the day of the final. So you can come to me. You're going to show up in person on the final. You don't have to. You can phone me, okay, or email me. But you can say, Dr. Whitaker, I just, I, I know I can't pass this class, and I, I can't, I can't get a D on my transcript. I, I'm gonna, I want to drop. That's your choice. And I will, I will, I will submit the drop for you at the end of the semester. Okay. All right. Cell phones. Yeah, no cell phones. Too much distraction. Well, if I'm not here at the start of class, it's not going to happen. It didn't, hasn't happened in a few years. The one time it happened was about six years ago, and they changed my schedule. I, I forgot. <laughs> my class started a half hour earlier. <laughs> somebody, somebody had to come again. That's the last time. And but if it's going to happen, there will be a sign on that door. It'll be a typed sign. Do not trust any handwritten signs. That could be one of your fellow students, okay? Like this class canceled, go home, something like that. No, no. Ours will say, it should have my name on it, should have this course name. I'm, I'm not going to tell you how to write a sign. Sorry. It'll, it'll be an official looking sign. And then you, then you know. And I, before you give up on me, check your email. I might have already said class is canceled. Just check it, okay? I will give you as much notice as I can. If class has to be canceled and it's like a sudden thing, I'm going to try to let you know. There is one date I do know of already. I don't know the exact date, but it's an important date. I'll tell you why. Uh, we go to February. Uh, I think it's that one. February 13, there will not be a, it'll be a, a, a Zoom lecture. Okay. And uh, I'll be in Georgia for some Baby Ray's turning three. <laughs> Baby Ray. So I'll be missing that day. Uh, entering late. Yeah, you give me 20 minutes. I never got to this policy. A lot of talk. I didn't get to it. Uh, so we start at 11.10, right? So you give me until at least till 11.30. You wait out there before you decide there's no class. That would be if there's no sign posted and you haven't heard anything. You wait until at least 11.30, okay? And these are common courtesy rules. Cheating, you're gonna read about cheating and answer it on the syllabus quiz. The rest is all school policies and a lot of valuable resources coming up. Yeah, we got resource. We got our help desk, we got Moodle, media, Assisted learning, learning lab. We got tutors over there. Yeah. We have one really good new tutor. You're gonna like her if you if you choose to use her. Okay. Uh, writing center, not so much for this class, but a very useful resource. They they do a good operation over there, our writing center. And their library, they got everything. Okay. I remember signature statement. I'll have that document ready for you to sign. And that's a rather long winded video about day one. And we have one student already got in touch with me and she's going to be appreciative, I'm pretty sure, because she couldn't make it today. Uh, I'm just looking to stop my video. And ah, stop share. And we'll be back.